Hey guys, it's Raina, and I know you're probably like, what? No intro? But honestly, this is going to be a quick how-to video on editing in Windows Movie Maker for some questions um, that I did not answer in my last video. I'm going to answer them this one, and if you have any more questions that I don't answer, feel free to leave it down below, and I will gladly make another video. It's 3 o'clock in the morning right now, and I don't know what I'm doing. So, make sure to check out my first how to edit beauty videos in Windows Movie Maker. And if that does not answer all your questions, watch this one. And if that doesn't answer your questions, make sure to leave it down below so I can make a part three. Okay, guys, make sure to like, comment down below, and subscribe. I hope you enjoy. Okay, guys, so the, before I show you how to do all the fun stuff on Windows Movie Maker, I've been getting a lot of questions on how I record my screen, so I'm going to show you that really quickly. So the first thing I need is go to Google and I search Microsoft, oh, I can't spell, Microsoft Expression Encoder. And then I click on the first link, which is really simple, and then I just click download, and it downloads and it, it walks you through, you know, normally when you download something it walks you through how to do it, and... Um, yeah, you download it, and then you just click the record button, and it starts recording your screen, so that's real fun. And that's how I record my screen. It's really basic. Also, if you want to add your voice, which I'm doing right now, all you have to do is click the microphone and the record button, and yeah. Um, I hope that answers your question on how I record my screen. And I'm just going to upload my videos or photos, and I'm going to show you guys how to do this, just in case you're confused or don't know how to. Okay, so then I can go to add videos and photos, or I can also go to file and import from a device, or I can take it from my desktop and drag it in, which I'm going to do because I think that's easier. So like you could select what you want and then you just drag it right in. And then it prepares your files. So let's wait till those process and then I'll be back. So, a big question and a big, like, problem on YouTube is copyrighted music. I did not know this, and I figured this out about a week ago. About a week ago. Okay, it's really early for this. YouTube actually provides songs for us to use that are not going to get copyrighted. So, if we go to our Creator Studio, and we go down to Create, we go have this audio library here. And that's where we can actually just, there's a whole bunch of options, there's a whole bunch of options, so like, let's just play one, let's do it, let's just do it. Luckily Sourced is one of my, I favorited this, so let's see what it sounds like. So that's for like, just plain, ba uh, plain background music, which... Um, I know a lot of YouTubers use the same background music, but that you actually have to pay for, and if you use it without paying for it, it's it's actually like copyrighted material. So these are non-copyright, and we're all allowed to use them for free. Get connected for free. So um, yeah, so check these out. Make sure to go through some of them. Um, no, no, I've never been in the club. It's really fun to play around with. I just, I suggest go looking through them if you're up for that. So, yeah, these are some of my favorites. There you go. I like this one. Alright, so that's just a little bit of music besides the covers. Um, this is like the background music. So, basically, I've given you a lot of what well, two different options on how to get free music one background and one cover so there's really nothing else you need unless there's some unknown music that I've never heard of so yeah so oh so this is basically shows you all the songs that if you use it what happens so if you use the song playback viewable everywhere except for Germany and you can't monetize your video which is I think a lot of people's problems but I don't monetize my videos so um, yeah. So, see, like, it's, sometimes it's not viewable for certain countries. Um, so, like, you can just look up a song. Also, they have sound effects, which is awesome, because, you know, 
everyone needs a good sound effect. So. A good 16 seconds of door open close. Am I right? Okay, guys, so make sure to go through these. Um, I know, it's really cool, because we didn't. I didn't really know that they have these, and now that they do, you can use them. The first thing we're going to do is add music to our video, but, so the normal thing, say we want to add my favorite song, Thinking Out Loud, by Ed Sheeran, oh, love it. So we go to Thinking Out Loud, and we're like, yes, I'm going to use this one. But we can't, because that would get copyrighted, so what I would do is look up cover. And, you know, you ask for permission, or honestly, if you just use it, I know, like, probably, like, oh my god, it's so bad, BT Dubs, love Max Schneider. But, um, if you use it, like, you give them credits in the down bar, then it's, like, totally fine. That's how you do not get copyrighted for your music. Use covers. Don't use the original song, because you will get copyrighted. I'm going to then now show you how to insert, after you have this cover, Let's say I'm using this one. Um, after you have this cover, I'm going to show you how to insert it into your um, video. Hey guys, so the, for the purpose of this video, I added longer clips so that you can actually see me editing the music. And so I have my music already downloaded to my computer. So I'm just going to go in and get it. So I click Add Music. And I'm going to just add the music in general. So then I go and find my music. I think mine's in downloads. Thinking out loud. Open. Yeah. So that's my music. It's in there. And I'm just going to play it real quick. It's yeah. So there it goes. I'm going to mute this video on a whole. So I say, okay, select all. And then I'm just going to go to video volume and mute that. So we're just going to focus on music right now. Say it's too soft and you, may, you want to make it louder, you click on the sound itself twice or you can just click on music tools options and then you go to music volume and you can raise the volume. So let's see, yeah, that controls the volume. So you want to gradually fade into the video, like right here, you want it to come so abruptly, I'm just, you can see it's like kind of loud there. If I want to fade into the song, I go fade in, and I go, you can go slow, medium, fast. Usually, if I want, like, if it's a really long video, I go slow, but if it's, like, awkward, I go fast. So, and fade out, usually a fade out's really nice, because it just doesn't leave the person hanging, so you just fade out. Um, medium's not bad, so that would happen at the end of the video. And then, you can actually set the start time for the music from here instead of dragging so say I drag it there I'm gonna music it's starting at 43 you can set that from there and then the start point is actually where it starts in the music so say I want to start it like here right because these are lined up I know that it starts at 43.97 so I'm just gonna put in here so let's see what this is we're gonna play this and see what it sounds like <laughs> So then I'm going to go to 4397 and it will start from there. So the whole thing will start from there. I'm just going to undo that. Okay, so say there's like a, there's just a part where you want to cut out the um the music, but you want it to continue flowing. What I usually do is I go in, I'm just going to pick somewhere random, make sure the music selected, and then I'm going to go right here, and then I'm just going to split it. So now you have two different parts, so, and then it just stops, so say you're saying something really funny and you want everyone to hear, and then you start the music back up, so let's see how that So that's nice. Also, you can do a fade out here. So fade out, I'm going to do a fast fade out, and then a fast fade in. So it won't be like weird timing. And then let's see. So it gradually fades in. And that's basically the music. If there's anything else, I don't I think I covered everything. You can also end it. So instead of ending it at the song ending point, you can end it wherever you want. 
usually you'd have to like go through it and figure out where also let's say a part of your music's too loud for a certain part of the video all you have to do is go to that part so you can tell by the bars here that this part's really loud I'm just going to go here, I'm going to split and then I'm going to go here and split that and then you can just select this and change the volume for only that part so here is going to be loud and then here is going to be soft that's just personal preference whatever you want to do there so that's music so now I'm going to show you how to add narration onto your music which I didn't think you can do but you can so it's actually very easy you just go to home and you say record narration or you can also import it you can import it to so add sound but I'm not doing that right now so record narration you press that you press record and it's currently recording my voice so yeah and you can emphasize the video which would mean that whatever sounds in the video will be louder than the sound in the narration or you can emphasize the music which is the green bar right here and that would mean that the music is louder than everything else or there's just no emphasis which is everything's equal and you can you know black and white add those visual effects also for my valentine's day video i used a lot of transitions which i said i didn't but i, I guess i lied um, and so it's just, let's see that real quick. Maybe just a touch of a hand. And me, I fall in love with you. And so, like, and say so you want to transition right there, split, and then I can add another transition. Like and then I can add another visual effect because I don't like that. And so then I have the perfect video. Maybe just a touch of a hand. And me, I fall in love with you every single day. I got really close to personal. Okay, so that's that. You can also like intense the brightness of your video to make it more fluorescent. Um big words, just kidding. Um also one last thing. I'm in the tree in the garden right now. Thank you guys for watching. The wonderful Madeline Bailey. See yeah, how he's talking and it's like really weird. So I guess he stops talking. He starts talking here. Like, so baby is. Like they usually do start talking sometimes. So we go to the end and we. I'm gonna split the music. Split. <laughs> that's so funny. I don't know why I bought that button. I'm just gonna delete it. Because I don't need it. And that's it. That's. That's. Bye. Bye to that. Bye. So, say this part, right, is really cute and attractive, right? I'm gonna split it. You know me. Split. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy that. Copy and paste that a couple times. Just kidding, like, twice. And so, let's go really fast. Really, really fast. And then... Okay, so I want it kind of faster. It's good for two, right? And then for this one, I would split that and then delete that part and then go slower. So let's see how it looks. You gotta get the point. So that's just how I do like those effects that you get in Final Cut or Sony Vegas without actually having them. So, oh, also for editing your video, make like use this um, plus thing to really get in close to like if you really want to just take a snippet. Like, okay, perfect. So if you're right here and you're like, you don't like that point, but you can't get it. Like if you were in this you couldn't get that out but if you zoom in go split split uh, point weird dramatic finger point delete so, uh, 
So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it answered your questions. If it didn't, please let me know down below. Also, it's 2.48 in the morning. That's why I'm in this weird mood and talking weirdly. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe if you want more. If you don't, I don't know what to say. It's really, it's really early. Check out my other videos if you, if you want to see how I normally act when I'm awake. My eyes are currently closed. Okay, that's me signing off. Bye, guys, and I hope I answered your question. Okay, bye.